Hello and salutations and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished up the Great Bay Temple by beating the great googly fish Georg. By googly, I, I of course mean his, his eyes. They were quite googly actually, that, that, that alliteration fit a little bit more than I actually wanted it to, but you know what? We'll, we'll roll with it. Yes, in the last episode we did do that. Now you may notice, however, for those of you that are watching these episodes back to back, that uh, the time is a little bit different. <clears throat> yeah, about that. Oh uh, well, you see, it's a long story that involves a lot of cursing and general saltiness that I'm not gonna get too far into. Basically, uh, I had another capture card mishap, same as it did in in uh, uh, Super Mario 64. For those of you that watched that series. Yeah, same thing happened again. Luckily, I actually, I caught it pretty quickly. I was only about 10 minutes into the recording session, so I didn't get too irritated at that, but I did kind of, you know, call it a day. I just didn't kind of feel like recording after having that whole mistake happen. So I went ahead and, and, and cut it off for the night and chilled, and then I came back today and realized that my save file had corrupted. Which meant I had to do all of the Great Bay over again, which was just so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, alright, so I was a little salty about that, but whatever! That, yeah, that's why the time is different, because I just had to go back and basically speedrun all of Great Bay, get the Zora Mask, do the temple, all that good stuff over again, right before I started recording this. Hopefully, 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 my freaking capture card mishaps are done, though. I've done the updates for the umpteenth time, so they better freaking be done, or else I'm gonna be really, really upset. Like, really, really upset. <laughs> I keep, like, glancing over at my capture software to make sure everything's still lined up and timed right. So far, so good. I'm not gonna keep talking about it. I'm not gonna keep being salty because it's not doing any good. I just... I hope it's working. That's the only thing I can say. I hope so. I just hope, I hope so much that it's working. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, I'm... I'm honestly not sure if it's my capture card or the capture card program. I'm leaning towards the lighter at this point because while my capture card does have a few problems every once in a while, None of this started happening until I did the freaking update, so, who knows. I just really hope it's working. Anyways, this beaver's got poker chips for eyes. So, I mean, that's... That's a thing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite characters in the entire game. Uh, mostly because they're one of the only original character models here. One of the only ones we see, anyways. That didn't make any sense. You know what I mean, darn it. <laughs> so, we have to race this here beaver, and race is not exalt at... Uh, uh, Race is not at all the correct terminology here because it's not a race. All you have to do is actually keep up. And really, you don't even have to do that. You just have to make sure to go through all these rings. It's a very cool little minigame, actually, in my opinion, because it shows off the Zora uh, mask a whole heck of a lot. More so than any other part in the game, really. Because the entire thing is based around how awesome the Zora controls are. It's actually definitely one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite little mini games in the entire, entire game, actually. Actually, actually. Apparently, actually is my favorite word now, all of a sudden. I don't know why it is. It is, it is. <laughs> I am trying to think of things to talk about that don't involve me ranting about crappy LP things, like corrupted footage and everything else, and save files. Although, this, the save file had nothing to do with the capture card, I should mention that. That's just because every, Majora's Mask... It does it on the cartridge version as well, from what I know of, but the Virtual Console version especially. Uh, kind of along with the, the GameCube disc version on it, on it as well. are prone to some rather unfortunate glitches. Freezing, uh, corrupted save files, stuff like that. Uh, it, it sucks. It sucks a lot. But definitely one of the bad parts about the game. Even the cartridge version, uh, version, like I said though, will actually have corrupted save files every once in a while. I don't know if they just didn't put as much effort into the, the finalizing parts, the polish there at the end, or what? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Not I, not I. Eh, that was perfect. Thank you. That's not good. Oh god, you have a fat brother. Did you call me little brother? I called you big brother. Actually, dude, we've had enough of that, alright? Don't, don't, don't take my word from me. Yeah, an empty bottle. Hmm. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. Well, I mean, they're not exactly nothing to me either, man. I am trying to save the world here, and it's imperative that I have enough empty bottles in order for me to save the world. You know, the world that you currently occupy, that you live in, that you will die if I don't actually do my job? Basically, give me the freaking bottle is what I'm saying. Yeah. This little mini game, I, I kind of touched on it a little bit during the Pirate's Fortress, uh, and I actually asked, the, the episode hasn't gone up yet, so I don't know if you guys have responded to this not. Have responded to this or not yet. Okay, link, 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 link. Calm yourself down and go through the ring. Thank you. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys have responded to this yet, but I actually asked if uh, it was possible to have more than three bottles by the time we get to Pirate's Fortress. Now, I know a lot of people, when I asked that, mentioned this one uh, that we get for doing the beaver race here. You cannot get this before the Pirate's Fortress. You can get it during the Pirate's Fortress, but that doesn't do you any good. Because the whole reason I was asking was to see if there's any way you don't have to backtrack to the, Pir uh, to the Pirate's Fortress to get all the eggs in one go. That's the reason I asked that, and I, there may be another bottle that I'm just not thinking of. It's entirely possible. Uh, but this one, you have to have the hookshot to actually get up here to the beavers, so this is not one that you can get before the Pirates Workers, only during. I don't know why I'm focusing on that so much. I guess because that's been the most common answer every time I ask uh, someone who plays this game a lot. But... We will get the empty bottle, and while it would be very nice if we could get this before the Pirate's Fortress, because that would make the game flow a little bit more smoothly, in my opinion, we're going to deal with it regardless. We actually have to do this uh, four times total. One against, uh, two against the little brother, two against the big brother. In my old LP, I actually sped up the, oops, sped up the, oops, sped up the, thank you, second race. Uh, and this time, I'm probably just going to cut to the end of it, because there's no real difference in the races. All the rings are placed in the same spot. The only difference is uh, time. It gives you a little bit less time. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same thing, so I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. Yeah, you don't say anything, poker chip, huh? Yeah, give me that bottle. Give me that bottle. Yeah, I got an empty bottle. We underestimated you. You dang skippy, son. How dare you underestimate the fantastic Zora controls. They're so good. They're so good. All right. We need to race you again, though, because there's another thing prize to get. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't. Okay, you guys really need to stop referring to each other like that, because it's starting to creep me out a little bit. I don't like it. Yeah, I'll race you one more time. Blah, 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 blah. Like I said, all the rings are placed in the exact same area, or exact same places. It's just shortened on time. Even then, though, it's not hard at all. So I'm going to cut until I am successful with this which hopefully will only be the first time. And I'll be back momentarily. So see you guys in just a moment. Who is the best beaver beater? That is me, and I do not mean that as a euphemism. At least not on purpose, but you know what? Take it as is. You're all just talk, eh, big brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my thing. I need my prize. Please, thank you. Yeah, you got beat in a hurry. <laughs> yes, it's over. I promise not to beat your beavers anymore. <laughs> okay, I need to stop that. It's getting out of hand. Just a little bit. Alright, so that's it with the beavers. We have beaver danced as much as we possibly can. Again, not a euphemism. It could be, though. If you want it to be. <laughs> uh, so this and the next few episodes, we're going to be doing a whole lot of side quest stuff. Uh, I've, I've touched on it before, but the Majora's Mask in general is a very, very, very side quest heavy game, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's the end of that sentence. It does have a lot of different side quests, and to be perfectly honest, there's not really a whole lot of uh, efficiency to some of it. I mean, I mean, sometimes, because there are certain ones you have to do like after you beat temples and everything else. Some of those I can probably try my best to be a little bit more efficient on, but some of them I'm just going to have to set time aside to go do. Uh, including ones like this. So I've got the next few episodes kind of lined up with what I want to do and when I want to do it uh, in terms of side quests. So yeah, it'll be at least two or three episodes here of just little side quest stuff before we head off to the next area of the game. And at some point during the next area of the game, I'll probably take another one or two episodes to do side quests. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of them near the end of the game. So we're going to get it done, you guys. Whoa, that was an epic little dolphin jump there at the end. We're gonna get it done, and it's gonna be all kinds of fun on a bun, hun. Mm. I really like rhyming and alliteration. I have no idea why. I just really, really enjoy wordplay a little bit. Come, boat! Yay. No, don't put the Zora mask on. You're wasting time with the mask and the transformation and the animation. There we go. So we're just riding the boat uh, pleasantly all the way over here to this little tree. This little mini game, I don't know if it has an official name on it necessarily. I just call it the jumping game. You can see it's a little creepy fisherman up there on the island. Uh, you have to beat Great Bay Temple in order to actually unlock this minigame. So keep that in mind that you do have to get Gorg out of the way before you can actually play it. And oop, we shoot all kinds of crooked there on that angle. All right, creepy dude. Oh, uh, really? Really? You're taking a break, huh? 
Taking a well, fine. You know what? I'm gonna go do something else and come back to you later. Cause you're being a jerk. Yeah. He, uh, we'll come back tomorrow morning and and do the jumping game. Cause I know it starts at seven, and I'm guessing it ends at four. We probably just missed it. Cause the freaking beavers took longer than they're supposed to. Well, in that case, I know something we can actually do while we're over here. Uh, you may remember, I don't think I really pointed it out, but in the ocean laboratory, observatory, uh, whatever that thing was, there was a little fish tank. Not the big one we threw the eggs in, but a little one that had two little fishies in it. There's actually a piece of heart there, but what we need to do in order to actually get said piece of heart is take all our newfound bottles, and the old found bottles, and fill it up with fishes. Come here. Let's go fishing. You know, they added, they actually, that's a good time to bring this up, actually. They added a fishing game in, no, get the fish. Zora Link, you're supposed to be a fish yourself. You think you know how to fish. Thank you. They actually added in a fishing game in the 3DS version of Majora's Mask, which I thought was freaking awesome. I really did. One of my favorite parts, and I, I talked about it during my Ocarina of Time LP. One of my favorite parts about Ocarina of Time was the fishing game. So whenever it came out that they had added that into Majora's Mask, I was super excited and it did not disappoint. They actually flushed it out a whole lot more than they did in Ocarina of Time too, which I was super happy about. I have to finish Majora's Mask 3DS. I don't think I ever actually beat it. I got really far into it and I just kind of ended up not being able to because of time. Which I think I said in an earlier episode that I did beat it. I may have actually lied. I honestly don't remember 100%. <laughs> It gets kind of, like, blurred in your mind some when it's a remake of a game. Because, I, I like, I don't know. Whenever someone asks me, have you ever beat Majora's Mask? I'm never going to say no because I have, like, a hundred times. Maybe not a hundred, but a lot. Probably close to ten-ish times. Maybe not quite as many as I have Ocarina of Time. But a lot is my main point. Anyways, we're going to feed these here fish. No, well, well, you know what? Yeah, take the Zora Mask off. Might as well. All right, Link, you progress nature there, and then I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I'm pro... Well... I guess I can show the cutscene and all that. We have to feed the fish, like, five times, I think, total, uh, and it's really not that interesting to watch. I don't know what my time is up to right now, but I know it's not exactly short, so I'm probably going to cut whenever we go back out to get fish. The closest fish we can get is where I got him that little pond out there in, in uh, Great Bay. Uh, I think the nearest area besides that to get it is maybe over there in that pool where we got the heart piece, where it was, uh, the waterfall, where we went up to see the beavers, the pool under that where the life like was. I think there's some fish in there, if I remember right, or somewhere close to there. Uh, so those are the two places you can get the fish pretty close. You gotta do this a few times. Yay, bloop, bloop. Are you gonna eat the small fish yet? Oh yeah, you are! Yay! Huh, I thought we were gonna have to make two trips, but apparently not. And he bars up a heart piece, so that's pretty neat. Ooh, look, I don't have to cut after all. You got a bit of a hot name, increase, and we finally unlocked the second row of heart pieces, which is pretty dang neat if I do say so myself. All right, so there's two more things technically to do in this episode: the jumping game, which we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. But there's actually one more thing. Uh, but I need this and this to get it. And actually, I'm probably gonna need bombs too, but whatever. We'll wait till a minute. Uh, this is one of those heart pieces that's just kind of laying around, basically. Uh, this game, if memory serves, man, that's an epic dolphin jump. What are you trying to show off so much for, Link? Jeez. We know you're cool. It's all right. Uh, I believe this game has the most heart pieces in any Zelda game, if not second most. I think Twilight Princess may have had more. I'm not 100% uh, sure. Really, Epona? Link has to show off, and you just have to kill the vibe completely, don't you? Jeez. Uh... I think this one may have the most heart pieces though, but because of that, there's honestly a lot of them that aren't hard to get and aren't really out of the way, which I'm not. Wow, okay, Epona, you overshot just a little bit, man. I need to come over here to the boulder. First, you just, you go a little crazy and you don't want to jump the fence, then you just want to jump too many fences, man. Epona, I just need you to make your mind up. You're getting in the way of progress here, all right? Just, you gotta, you gotta chill. Uh, so yeah, a lot of heart pieces in this game are kind of just laying around, essentially. I don't actually mind that that much, to be honest. Uh, I find it- whoa, good- good somersault, Link. I actually find it to be kind of neat that they are just some that are- basically, you have to explore a whole lot to get. Uh, actually, you know what, here, we'll jump up on this lily pad. Uh, there are a lot of heart pieces in the game that you pretty much just have to explore in order to find. Did I already hit those? Huh! 
I mostly hit those with the other two I shot. Well, that was easy. Whatever. So you come in here, shoot all the beehives down, and one of them, I believe that one, there's going to be a piece of art. Yay. It's just that easy. You just come in here, shoot the crap down, then sink down and get it. It's really not difficult in the least, but it is something that is kind of cool. A lot of the older uh, Zelda games, like the 2D Zelda games, had some really easy heart pieces in them as well that were just kind of laying around, for lack of a better phrase. And uh, that's something that not a lot of the 3D Zeldas have. Most of the heart pieces in 3D Zeldas have like a mini quest or side quest attached to them or stuff like that. You you very rarely just find one. Uh, this is one of the only 3D Zelda games that you really do just find it laying around real easy. Uh, but it is something that's very cool in my opinion. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some people consider it unnecessary because it doesn't really add a lot to the game besides just exploration incentive. But, I mean, that, it's a Zelda game. Exploration is a big part of Zelda. So, I don't mind there being a little bit of incentive, incentive it's, except... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, the last thing we have to do in this episode is the jumping game, but we can't do that till tomorrow morning. Thank you, Epona. Just, yeah, at least you're consistent, if nothing else. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut here and actually, uh come back tomorrow morning when we can play the fishing game. I'll see you guys momentarily. It was a beautiful sunrise, wasn't it, creepy fisherman? I'm so glad I could share this moment with you. Alright, dude, let's get this done. Now that the seas are back to normal, let's start a little bit of amateurist. If you pay 20 rubies, I'll invite you to a jumping game. That ha well, I guess it is just called a jumping game, isn't it? Here up for they go to the center island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 20 rubies and our prize is going to be harpies. This can actually be one of the more f Yes, I'm up for it. Just shut up. I know the rules, man! That's what I have practice files for. <laughs> this can actually be one of the more frustrating games uh, in in this game. Mini games in the game. Game, 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 game. Uh, mostly due to the camera, because you'll notice the whole concept behind the mini game here is just to jump over to whatever island has the lit torch. Uh, and if you fall, then you're disqualified. You need to get at least 20 or 25. I think 20, uh, in order to actually win the game. It's not difficult, but a lot of times the camera will randomly shift, like, right as you're running to the edge to jump, and that's when it can get a little frustrating because it'll make you fall off and get disqualified when there's honestly nothing you could have done to do better. Now, obviously, trying to do good commentary and talking while I'm doing this is not the best idea in the world, but I'm doing it to entertain, so if anything, <laughs> failure is what makes you guys like it people, so the internet is a very fickle place, what can I say? I'm actually not doing half bad, though. If I actually get all the way to 25, I'll probably just quit right there. Okay. One little technique I have noticed that, uh, is that if you can't see where the flame is and you're not entirely sure where it is, like right now, just wait for it to time out. You have plenty of time to actually get all 25 or 20, whichever it is. I think it was 20. You have plenty of time to get all of them, so don't worry too much about taking huge risks. Uh, because time is not a major issue. See, like, right now I'm up at 18, so I'm not, if it's not one I can see in my immediate vicinity, I'm probably not gonna go for it, honestly. See, there's 20. Should I keep risking it to go to 25, just because I'm not 100% sure that... Whoops, that's the first one I've actually done wrong. Uh, ooh, over there! No oh, god! Okay, you know what? Oh, this is getting risky. This is getting a little, this is getting a little tricksy, and I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it at all! This freaking camera, man. Literally, camera, man. No, 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 oh, God, one more, one more. There we go. All right, there, I got 25. I got 25, I'm chilling, everything's like a villain, it's all good. We good? We good. Cool. Also, there's a little bit of light like down there in the distance. All right, that's it. Yay, what's my prize? I know what my prize is, this is, uh, this is another heart piece. Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh, well, here's your prize. Yay! You gotta be in heart like to be the burr. Yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of those in the next few episodes. That looks like I may go bankrupt. I don't feel bad for you, honestly. I really don't. All right, so that's going to be it uh, today. Today's daily question. I may have asked this one already. I'm not 100% sure. I want to know what your favorite mini game from any Zelda game is. Uh, like the jumping game there, the Honey Darling shops, the friggin' Octorok shooting gallery. If you're just a major masochist like that. Ugh. I want to know what your favorite minigame from any Zelda game is, so leave your answer in the comments. Whee! Oh, that one actually hurt. <laughs> you just snapped your neck, Link. Jeez. 
Leave your answer in the comments, we'll talk about it and have a good old time. As always, like if you like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share with your friends. And I will see you guys next time in Let's Play The Legend of Zelda <gasps> Ocarina of Mask Time. I had a little bit of a seizure there, I apologize. <laughs>